Hello beautiful people, welcome back. In this video, I will give you a pro exclusive guide to get zero recoil sprays in the game. <laughs> Chill boys, don't get overexcited. Oh. Because overexcitement builds expectations and never expect anything from anyone. Hey termite, this is not a motivational class. What the hell? <laughs> Shut up you idiot. Anyways. So here I will give you some essential tips to help you control recoil. But before that, I would like to know whether you play with gyroscope on or off. Kindly let me know this in comment below. And also throw a pre-cooked grenade on the like button and make this video dead. Jokes aside, do smash that like button if you wanna play like Athena. Anyway, tip 1, aiming sensitivity. Aiming sensitivity is a big issue when you're playing the game. You can check the sensitivity settings that your friend uses and utilize the same settings. It's different for each person. Moreover, since you and your friend might use different guns, you can't apply the same settings at any time. However, you can check your aiming sensitivity settings in the training ground. Choose your preferred gun and try them out. You can change the settings according to your needs after that. Moreover, there are other settings for ADS sensitivity, camera sensitivity, and gyroscope sensitivity. Experiment and find what works for you. Tip 2. Gun choice. Needless to say, this will be a big factor when it comes to your aiming skills. Not everyone can manage with guns that provide huge kickbacks. If you're a beginner, you're better off using mid-range guns or a few submachine guns. Their recoil tends to be comparatively less, and you can compensate for the lack of damage through better gun control. Even seasoned and enthusiast players try to avoid guns that have a huge recoil as it can be an impediment to the competitive edge of the game. Try out different guns, whether in-game or in matches. With some time and effort, you'll know which gun works best for your playing style. Tip 3. Changing stances. A good rule of thumb to remember is that your aim will always be worse when you're standing. Changing the stance to crouch or prone will make your gun and recoil control in BGMI loads better. Moreover, try not to aim and fire too much when you're moving. This decreases your chances of hitting your target exponentially. When you're prone or crouched, your movement is slower, but your aiming will be far better. Of course, it goes without saying that you'll have to find the appropriate cover. There's no point in trying to aim while crouched or prone when you've got no cover to shield you from incoming fire. Tip 4. Don't spray too early. Guns have a certain hit radius. This hit radius increases when you're spraying bullets onto your enemies. However, it also decreases the chance of you hitting the opponent successfully, and it increases the gun's recoil. You should always stick to firing a few bullets first, so that the recoil is less and your aim isn't affected too much. Gun sprays are viable when you're in the middle of an intense firefight and there are plenty of enemies in a particular area. For a smaller amount of enemies, especially at a distance, fire just 3 or 4 shots first. Any more than this and your gun will start to spray wildly. Tip 5. Hand usage. This might seem like a no-brainer, but plenty of players tend to forget this. How you use the game's controls also have a stake in terms of gun recoil control in BGMI. For example, players who shoot with their thumb or play with three fingers for the controls tend to have better aim and recoil control in BGMI. If you use a claw-like grip or control scheme, it becomes difficult to control the recoil. Of course, you can practice and improve your aim using both techniques. However, as a beginner, it's better to use three fingers or thumb style control grip. Tip 6. Gyroscope. The addition of using the gyroscope to play BGMI is a welcome one. The gyroscope controls are difficult to use, and there's no doubt about that. Nevertheless, it's a good option in case you face too many problems with gun recoil control in BGMI. Gun spray becomes much easier to handle when you're using the gyroscope controls. It will be difficult to use, and if you're habituated to using the normal methods of gameplay, it will take time for you to adjust to this. I'd recommend you practice using the gyroscope in a few matches and see if it's a good fit for your playing style. If it is, you're likely to have better aim and gun recoil control in BGMI. Use these pro-exclusive tips in order to control your recoil. So this was it for today's video, do drop a like and also subscribe if you are new. And now watch my potato gameplay, peace.
Please recall me. Awesome. Awesome. I'm recalling a teammate. Thank you. Awesome. Marked a location. Watch out! Mark the location. Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Mark the location. Watch out! Enemies ahead! Enemies ahead! Watch out!
Form up on me. Marked a location. 